Okay, now uh, welcome to CCIEadvisor.com. In this lesson, it will be a quick lesson on how to set your running configuration to the startup config. And I've pretty much told you the command already, but this is a, a good little quick lesson for those of you. Um, I'm going to tell you two variations, the what we call the old school way, I suppose, and then um, another way that they probably in the last... I don't know, a few years they've been using this to show you how to do it, but what we're trying to do ultimately is is consider the fact that you've made some sw changes to your router or switch, okay? Either one. And the iOS and the Cisco iOS, and what you want to do is you want to save that configuration that you've worked so hard on and so diligently on, and you want to save that configuration to the memory so that if uh, the cleaning lady bumps the the power cord and it reboots while you're gone that night, or your coworker um, decides to reload the switch because they think it's a good idea for some crazy reason. Um, your configurations are not lost, okay? So this is extremely important. And as you're taking your exams and you move into the the different labs and like the CCIE lab especially, I think I use the write mem command or the copy uh, the copy running start command a hundred times during that day, maybe more. And it sounds a little obsessive, but uh, when you finally get there, you don't want to screw up. You don't want to lose the work that you're doing. So let's keep that in mind, okay? And I'll probably do it at the end of every lesson, even the show commands. So let's do a, um, we'll take a look at the configuration on the switch here. And what we're going to do is show run, which is actually show run and config, okay? So Let's pretend that we've just gone in here and we've just configured this interface to be a routed interface. And we want to make sure we save it in case of a reboot. And so we go back to enable mode. And we can do two commands, okay? We're going to call this the copy run command. Um, it's C O P Y space running dash config space start up config so it's copy space running dash config space startup dash config there's nothing more needed it says destination file name startup config because you can name it anything you want by the way but it's going to be looking for the for the name startup config when it starts so be careful. You might save it as another file name and it won't reboot to that. So now we've done this. Now we've saved everything that you've worked on. Everything that was done before and all the changes that you've made since then all together in the startup configuration now. So now you should be rest assured no matter what happens um, that when the boot, when the when the switch comes back up it'll remember everything you've done and being Cisco it will come back up and it'll be everything will be running fine. Now, I don't use the copy running config startup config command, okay? Um, it's not that it's too much work, but you know, with these keystrokes and everything like that, lots of times the more familiar you get with a switch and the router and the iOS, you're gonna you're gonna truncate a lot of them. So I want to show you two different variations of that. It'll be three all together. The, the, the copy run, which is usually what I call it, um, write memory. Write memory is a holdover from what um, the Catalyst switches used to use. We would write write to memory. Okay. You see how it looks the same? Building configuration. Okay. Um, also, you could truncate that to wr. What is it? WRMEM is pretty common and um, really there's no need for that. If you really understand what you're doing then it's okay to truncate these. Um, you might want to type them out because you can make a mistake but um, WR. So isn't that funny? As an interesting that you could type all of this copy space running dash config space startup dash config or just the letters WR. It's the same thing. Okay? 
So thanks a lot for joining us in this lesson at CCIEadvisor.com. Have a good day and uh, happy switching. Mm -hmm.